Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, one of the most important thing in any data science interview is that what kind and what level of projects you have specifically done. And when I say these projects, I'm talking about end-to-end -end projects. Now in data science projects with respect to various tools and techniques, let's say I've been using GitHub Actions, I've been using CI-CD pipelines, I've been using MLOps, I've been using DVC, right? All these tools that we specifically use are super important and it can really add a lot of values in your resume. Now in my own YouTube channel, there are more than 1800 plus videos where I've also uploaded so many different, different projects. So many people were also asking me, Krish, what kind of projects we should definitely put in our resume? So considering this, I have created this amazing GitHub for you all, where you can specifically refer all these kind of projects and you can also put in your resume. And one thing that I can definitely guarantee guys, if you see this 10 to 12 projects that are there, right? then you will be able to implement any kind of projects that you really want because I have actually covered each and everything over here. Let it be from GitHub Actions to CI CD pipelines to deployment, anything that you specifically required with respect to MLOps tools and all. And this is just not for machine learning. This is for deep learning also, NLP also, and even generative AI projects. So let me go ahead and let me share my screen to all of you. And this is the GitHub that you really need to follow. I'll be providing the link of this particular GitHub URL in the description of this particular video. So here you can see data science projects for resume. And now I have actually created this machine learning, deep learning and LP projects. The reason the order that I've actually given in this specific projects, you just need to refer it, just need to practice it. Each and every project is at an average of somewhere around two to three hours. But the best thing will be that if you're following step by step, all the materials also I'll be going to give in the description. Along with this, when you click on any video, you'll be finding the materials, you'll be finding all the implementation over there, you'll be finding all the readme file also updated, right? You just need to refer the video and start implementing thing. As I said, once you start implementing this project one by one, any other project that you find out with a new data set, let it be in your company or anything that you find out external to your company itself. Like let's say there is a public data set, you want to probably go ahead and try it out. You can also use that one also, right? And you will definitely not face any difficulty. If you are facing some difficulties, I would always suggest keep on trying it out because that is how you keep on improving when you are implementing projects. So how do you start it? Step by step, I'll show you. Now this first project that you see, first end-to-end -end ML project for start which is called a student performance prediction. Now this project is quite amazing. The reason why I'm telling you is that because here I have broken down this into step by step. There are 12 tutorials. So we basically start from data ingestion to data transformation to model training for model evaluation. Then we see deployments in multiple cloud platforms. So always I would suggest you first of all, go ahead and see this specific particular project, right? This is the first project that you have to probably start. If you have not implemented any project, end to end project, because here we have also used modular coding, completely modular coding. I'll be showing you how you can reuse the code and do multiple amazing things. Okay. Now the second one over here that you can actually see is nothing but end to end NLP project with GitHub action, MLOps and deployment. And this is something related to NLP project. As I said, I've also implemented machine learning, deep learning and NLP projects, right? Not only that, as you go ahead in the end, you'll also be finding end to end generative AI projects with multiple amazing frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index, Amazon Bedrock, you know, Google Gamma, so many Google Gemini Pro, all the models have specifically been used, right? And as you all know, Google Gamma is a new open source model that has been brought by Google itself. And it is trained similar to the training that we have specifically done, um, like Google has specifically done with respect to Google Gemini Pro. So all these projects are there over here, right? Now, as you go ahead, see, see the project name, okay? This project name are very uh, important. End-to-end -end NLP project with GitHub Action, MLOps and deployment. So MLOps, all the things are there. Uh, GitHub Action, CI, CD pipeline, everything has been implemented over here. Then end-to-end -end ML project implementation using AWS SageMaker. Many people had also requested for that. So this particular video is also there. Computer vision, right? So this is, this is the NLP project. Here computer vision is a deep learning project using YOLO V8 part one, part two, then deep learning projects for deployment, MLOps and DVC. See here we have specifically used DVC, right? So 
the main aim is to show you all these tools how it can be implemented in an end to end solution so that tomorrow you take up a new data set and try to do it by your own right there is also projects like audio classification see as i said machine learning deep learning nlp computer vision and audio classification project is also over here right so again you'll be able to see with dockers and github actions also then you can see langchain open ai projects kidney disease classification so every combination of this project has been implemented now with respect to the code right let's say this i'm using this particular end to end cell segmentation which is one of the project over there you see the code right this code is how we basically write in a real world project right in an industry so right so see, if you probably see over here there'll be a research folder which will be having the tested ipynb file there'll be data there'll be flow charts there'll be cell segmentation inside this we will be developing our logger exception pipelines all the pipelines will be there training pipeline and all so with respect to this all the components will be there like data ingestion data validation model trainer so everywhere you'll be able to find in a similar way right and this will be super important because at the end of the day you need to take this entire thing and implement it in any cloud with the help of ci cd pipeline so you will also be able to see the template.py file setup.py file right so one of the project is in this particular way if i probably show you text summarization nlp project here also you'll be able to see that same structure is also over here right from template.py setup.py requirement.txt params.yml uh, to write, to probably give the all the configuration that is required docker file you will be able to see configuration file work workflows you will be able to see this workflow this is what is specifically required in the ci cd pipeline itself you can see over okay, continuous integration right or uh, log into amazon C ecr right continuous deployment how to specifically do this and we have covered specifically over here in all my playlists we have covered with different different cloud like aws azure google cloud many more right so that is the reason my main aim is to give you everything in a proper format and trust me like if you're not able to see the all the videos in my youtube channel with respect to any project just follow this you'll gain a lot of knowledge right and as i said as i go ahead more generative ai projects will also come right here right now till what level companies are specifically asking i am giving the projects till that specific level over here right my suggestion would be please make sure that you fork this keep a star mark so that whenever i keep on uploading more projects i'll be adding it over here right still i'm searching in my youtube channel based on the playlist that i've created how many different different projects will be important for you right but my main aim was to give all the different kind of combination of projects that you really want right so here is the entire data science and yes all these projects you can probably write it in your resume explain it in your own way but one important thing that i really want to talk with respect to resumes right you need to provide three important information what is the goal of the resume what is the roles and responsibilities and what did you achieve from that particular project right this three important information that you specifically need to write in your resume itself right so resume can play a very important role as i said guys all my students whoever have written amazing information in their resume are able to get calls and interviews so please do not hesitate to use this particular project in your resume try to explain them try to provide more and more information with all the techniques that you have used in this based on the code based on the open source tools that you have based on um, the mlops pipeline that you have actually used all the techniques that you have specifically done right that would definitely be helpful for your data science interview so i hope you like this particular video this was it from my side uh, i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all take care bye bye